So continuing on the amazing momentum we built up in the previous lecture, um, we're going to calculate the gain of the given stage here um, using the shortest cut that we discussed in the previous lecture. Um, I I've told this before, it will be you will, I mean, it's very difficult to follow what's going on in this lecture if you have not watched the previous lecture. Of course, if you know things um, already, then it's not a big deal. But if you're learning for the first time, then it'll be um, comfortable if you can go to um, Anorati. Hold on. Anorati.com. E N E R A D I.com. And click on. I mean, you, you can you you can get a whole list of lectures that um, I make out there, so that uh, you're in order, right? All right. So, I mean, you're learning in order. All right. So, um, I'm really excited about this because it's so simple to calculate the gain. All right. We need to calculate the gain of this amplifier. What we have to note it uh, is that it is, of course, a common drain amplifier, but the one we saw before was an NMOS here, but it's a PMOS. And one more thing, it's a diode connected PMOS. See this? The gate and the drain are both grounded. So they're both at the same potential, so it's a diode connected uh, load. Okay? What do we know? All we have to figure out is the resistance is connected at this branch right here. Okay? So what do we know beforehand? Let's see. Let's just list what all the things we see right here. Okay, so we see definitely a GM1, right? So that we can list. 1 over GM1 is definitely there. What about uh, GMB1? It is there too, right? The source to the bulk. So 1 over GMB1. We have definitely RO1. We definitely have RO2 as well. Um, what about the GM and GMBs of the second transistor, right? Um, let's see. So there is, uh, this is the source and this is the bulk of the PMOS, right? So it is connected to the output uh, branch. So you'll definitely have one over GMB2 as well. But what about one, one over GM2? So it's supposed to be source to gate, right? And yeah, we do have that as well, right? Perfect. Now what do we do? Except GM1, everything else, we just end list, right? So 1 over GM2 parallel with 1 over GMB2 parallel with RO1 parallel with RO2 parallel with 1 over GMB1 over the entire thing the same way so 1 over GM2 plus sorry parallel with 1 over GMB2 parallel with RO1 parallel with RO2 parallel with 1 over GMB1 plus 1 over GM1 that's all isn't this super simple I'm just I'm just amazed at the simplicity of this thing, right? I hope you are too. And let's change color right now. And um, of course, once you solve this, it's gonna look like it's gonna look something like this, right? So A V should be G M one times something, right? So that's the resistance connected. I mean, that's the output resistance times the input transistors. Um, uh, what do you say? Uh, the transconductance. Okay, so what was I going to say? Yeah, that's about it. So um, we what we did here was we we enlisted the resistances like here, but we can also do the crazy diagram we did last time, right? So this is the output uh, branch, and we have a uh, one over GMB one. We have 1 over GM1, we also have RO1, we have RO2, then there's 1 over GMB2, and 
1 over gm2, right? This is the crazy diagram we did last time. And um, this this helps a lot, actually. It helps me a lot. So I, I would definitely recommend going this way. And also, what it, you might notice in a few textbooks, what they do is they combine the gm2 and gmb2 together, and they write the gain equation. So it's just 1 over gm2 plus gmb2. Just like we solved for the output resistance, that same thing, that's all. Parallel with R01, parallel with R2, parallel with 1 over GMB1, over the same thing again, right? So 1 over GM2 plus GMB2, parallel with R01, parallel with R2, parallel with 1 over GM1, sorry, GMB1 plus 1 over GM1, right? So, isn't this super cool? You can just imagine, you can use this in interviews, you can use this for exams, you can use this when you're learning stuff in college. You, it's just like, you know, at, at, at the tip of your fingertips, you know, you, ha you have it there. So, um, are you ready for one more? Right? Uh, well, this is not a common uh, drain amplifier, but it's, it's, it's a common source amplifier, but it, it works on the same principle. So, new example. Let's do this one. So, uh, the circuit looks something like this. Um, hold on one second. So, we have a coupling capacitor here, C1, and we have an I1, and this is V in, this is M1. Here, there's a V out. Uh, note that the V out is above the input transistor, just like we should have it in a common source one, right? So common. Whoops, think missed something. Okay, common source amplifier. Okay, all right. So the load here again is a diode connected load, and it is also it is again a PMOS. So let's do M2 and VDD. So we have to find the uh, the gain of this stage, right? So what do we know for for, for the common uh, common source amplifiers? AV is just minus GM times RD, right? So again, this is the output resistance we're going to calculate. We're going to do that. Uh, in fact, you can just pause this video right now, do it yourself, and then verify after. Um, after a few minutes, right? So I don't think it should take even a few minutes. Uh, note the negative sign here. And uh, GM here should be GM1 because that's the transconductance of the input amplifier. Okay? Alrighty. So let's see. Let's see what we have. Let's do the crazy diagram again. So this is the output uh, branch. Let's see what we have here. So we definitely have R01 and R02, right? Those are always our friends. They're always there. R01 and R, oh, oh, this is R2 and R1, right? Okay, doesn't matter anyways. And what else do we have? Do we have, uh, let me draw the bulk. So this should be VDD, right? And uh, this should be the ground. Uh, ground. Hold on one second. Okay. All right, so source to bulk do you think that that should come into the upper branch I don't think so do you no, it's not connected right so we're gonna forget 1 over GMB2 too bad anyways what about source to gate well if this if this wasn't a diode connected transistor we wouldn't consider but this is one so the source to gate is and the gate and drain are anyway shorted, and when the drain happens to be the output branch, right? So it's as good as it's there. It's definitely there, right? So one over GM two is definitely there. One over GM two, right? What about here? Um, so GM one, of course, is this one, right? So let's not forget that. What about the GMB of this one? of uh, this transistor. So it should be source to bulk. Again, it's not connected to the output branch, so we're going to forget that. 
we're done. You see, all it is, it's just a 1 over gm1, right? So, uh-oh. No, no, we got the gm1 already. I'm sorry. So, av equals negative of gm1 times what? RO1 parallel with RO2 parallel with 1 over GM2. Isn't this just perfectly, perfectly amazing? It's just out of the world, I tell you. I'm, I'm so thrilled. Right? That's all it is. You got the gain. Right? You can do any number of problems now. Just figure out this crazy diagram and you're you're all set. Um, I think we need to practice more to figure out how the GM appears there, but I think we should be okay after a few practice problems. Perfect. I just thoroughly enjoyed making these videos and I hope you enjoyed watching them. Uh, I'll keep making more. See ya.